Passive fire symptoms such as might seem harmless, but they can reshape the state and affect breathing for life. When a child constantly has something in their mouth, it takes up the space where the tongue should rest. And when the tongue isn't able to rest properly because of a tongue tie or low muscle tone, the tongue becomes a replacement and fills that void and gives them a sense of comfort while also stimulating the vagus nerve, which is, helps calm the nervous system and is located at the root of the mouth. But long term, that thumb starts to shape the mouth as well, and it pushes the upper jaw narrow to encourage the high arch palate, and also pushes the upper jaw back by reducing the airway space. So this not only affects the mouth, because the roof of the mouth is also as well as the nose. So a narrow palate means a narrow nasal airway. And over time, this will lead to powdered teeth, low narrow facial structure, mouth breathing, and even swallowing issues. So even if this habit is only during sleep, this pattern every day kind of adds up. And the key is not only just stopping the habit, but helping the child learn proper tongue posture, nasal breathing, and also a strong oral muscle function.